Hello, welcome, welcome to, to Open Door, Door Guidance. Guidance. I'm AG. I'm Tiffany. And we are here today to talk about goals. <laughs> Recently, I've been trying to meet some goals of my own. So some realistic goals are, you know, to be more healthier. Trying on that one. Um, to really just maybe work for myself in whatever capacity that entails. Um, to go back to school get my psychology degree. I do have a degree already, but to get a different degree. Um, to learn an instrument, to travel more. So these are some of my goals for t this year. Or, you know, And if it didn't happen this year, I do have you know goals that are set for um, the following years coming up. But I definitely wanted to talk to you guys and let you know like, hey, you know, what are some of your goals? Like, and how do you plan on achieving those? I know for Asia, you have goals to study in Korea. Um, a lot of study in Korea, go to Korea, live in Korea, visit Korea, something in Korea. <laughs> Anything in Korea. Eat in Korea, sleep in Korea, cry in Korea, <laughs> walk in Korea, smell Korea, breathe Korea, South Korea, not North Korea. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but you know, but then, but in order to get there, she knows that right now she's going to focus on, you know, college, her first year, because her, the college that she is attending um, offers an abroad program. She has to finish her first year first, and then she can apply to go abroad and study mm -hmm. over there if she so chooses. Now, her goals might change, and that's okay. I was thinking earlier today that when I was a kid, I wanted to be a nurse. And then in my, like, mid to late 20s, I ended up getting my criminal justice degree because I wanted to be either a criminalist or a forensic scientist. Um, oh my god, I wanted to be a forensic scientist at one point. Oh, I know you did. Point, but I wanted to. I'm glad she didn't. And only, But did only, only because I know her true Me talents too. and passion, and that wasn't it. So, <laughs> you know... That wasn't it. I, I actually chose that because I am I like puzzles. I like figuring out stuff. Um, I ended up in accounting. So I have like 11 <laughs> years worth of accounting experience. When I say accounting, accounts payable, accounts receivable, auditing, stuff like that. Um, I'm not an accountant. That is completely different. Um, but that's where I actually ended up. So I don't I don't know. That That's just, yeah. But because she's 18 now and she's about to spread her wings and fly and take her own journey... I had to reevaluate and kind of see what goals I wanted to place on myself now that I have a little bit more time to focus on me. So I just wanted to kind of just touch base. Like you should definitely, I don't know what age bracket you're in. You could be, you know, in the junior high age, in the high school age. You might very well be an adult like myself, um, kind of transitioning from high school to college and into adulthood. You know, I don't know where you really are. I just know that you should definitely set some goals for yourself. Whether that's traveling, whether that's, again, learning an instrument, whether that's um, going to college, not going to college. Maybe you just want to go get a job, make some money, and start stacking your bread. There you, you go. Like that. That's the goal, too. Some people have a goal to buy a car, to buy a home. You know, but with all of that does come, you know, you have to make sure that you're being responsible with your money, which means that you're um, handling your money in a um, responsible manner so that you can achieve some of these goals. For instance, in order to learn a language, which I'm trying to do too, that's one of my other goals. It's also um, my other goal. <laughs> It's just really good though. I'm she, learning two languages at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> she's learning Spanish and Korean at the same time. Um, I'm currently learning Korean and then I'll be learning Italian. So, because ultimately I want to take a trip to Italy. So, um, but for instance, those simple goals, you have to sacrifice a lot. Meaning you have to study, study, study. Oh, oh don't forget to study. There you go. I'm just being honest. You know, I I, I I work eight hours a day. Now, my job is very mentally, mentally <laughs> exhausting. So sometimes to come home and jump in the books and study my the language that I want to learn is a little difficult at times. So I'm trying to find motivation here and there. Um, I'm trying to get back into working out and, you know, getting my health back right. 
and stuff like that. Right now, my main focus, because we are planning on relocating to a different city within Nevada, um, is just to focus on getting my finances together, planning accordingly so that, you know, when those deadlines come, I'm able to transition in a smooth manner. So, I mean, whatever your goals are, you know, again, whether it's to finish high school with a certain GPA, it, which is a beautiful goal, you know what I'm saying? No goal is like crazy. You want to start your own business, you want to start a podcast, if you want to start vlogging, if you want to start dancing, if you want to be a bomb ass dog walker, whatever, you know. If you want to eat more food. <laughs> that's okay too, that's a goal, shoot. Food is good. So there's a difference between a job and a career. A job is where you make money just to get by through life. Occasionally you might be able to play a trip here and there. You might be able to do fun things with your friends. But you're, you're really just kind of skating by and just making the necessary living, living. necessities, yeah. you know, for your life. Um, a career, again, is where you can retire from, where you have a 401k, you know, where, you know, <clears throat> it's something that you truly, truly enjoy doing. That could be anything from a graphic artist to a book writer to somebody who likes putting together cars or working on cars. Like, there's so many. But the point of this this episode is just to be like, don't limit yourself mm -hmm. to whatever you have in your city. Don't listen to people who try to put you down. Yeah. Like, Some people might be like, oh, you want to you wanna be, I don't know, an astronaut? Like, you can't do that. You can that's never do that. That's crazy. Right. Maybe if that's your dream and that's something that you want to work on, go get it. I don't, I say that because there are so many people I know to this day that have no problem staying complacent, complacent, complacent in what they're doing. And they complain all the time. They're unhappy. They're unhappy. They're unhappy. They're unhappy. They're unhappy. They're unhappy. I'm complaining, but I'm trying to make that change mm -hmm. so that I'm not unhappy anymore. Mm -hmm. um, the, the whole world is at the tip of your fingers. Literally. All you have to do is a little bit of research just to figure out what it is you want to do with your life. If you want to be like an expert at traveling and write a book on the best ways to travel, boom, there you go. You get to do two one. Your life is short. Make sure you make it count. And... Make sure that you literally, like, spread your wings and fly. Spread your wings and fly. Yeah. You know, whether you're a parent, whether you're a teen, you know, may work. Make work. People do it every day. I literally, like, log into watching people travel, and I'm just like, wow. Especially if you're, like, an adult. Like, honestly, you, you basically get to choose... Like, your life. Literally. Like, literally. No one's stopping you. Yeah. But yourself. Money can stop you, but you can always make money. Money comes and goes. Literally. Like, and people, but people do so much with little. Right. Like, I was just watching it's somebody. It's just all about putting yourself forward and out there. And not being afraid to fail. Like, I know that that was one of my fears. That's why I stayed complacent in a position that I was just like, I'm not making enough, I know I deserve more, whatever. It's because I was afraid to fail. I made a goal to start this channel at the beginning of this year, and I did that. Am I afraid that it's not going to succeed? Yeah, I have that fear. I have that doubt sometimes. Am I afraid that it's going to succeed? Absolutely, because there's a fear of being successful too. <laughs> so, you know, I have that fear as well, because with success comes more responsibility. I'm tired of living in fear though. Like, don't, I'm trying to tell you, don't live in fear. You know, make reasonable goals. Make a three month goal, a six month goal, a 12 month goal, a three year goal, a five year goal. Um, and just see where you, you know, end up. Don't get it twisted. Life going to throw some monkey wrenches at your ass. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to hop a lot of hurdles and make a couple detours. But look, they <laughs> just laughing because she knows. Because I know. <laughs> too well especially it's only february and a lot a lot's happened yeah a lot has happened i i mean within not even 28 days yet it's only been 19 days <laughs> 19 days of february are you kidding <laughs> i can't and we're on our third month so if so much has changed or happened within just 
a month and 19 days. However many, however many days, 45 Just days. wait till March. Right. You know, there's a lot more to come. But you have to mentally be prepared for these monkey wrenches. Like, and I say that because in order for you to get to your goal, it's okay to be pissed off. It's okay to cry. It's, go it's okay to be frustrated. You just have to find a different way of getting there now. And it's just going to take a little bit longer than what you had originally planned for. But still make that plan. Because you can, you depending on the situation, just because you had a situation here doesn't mean it won't be a nice, beautiful, easy, breezy path, say, you know, a few months later down. And you're like, oh, damn, now I'm skating by. You know what I'm saying? So you still might be able to meet your goal within that time frame that you set for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with that either. Enjoy life. Smell the roses. Like, taking the sense of wherever you're at. Make mental, sensory, like, memories of everything. Like, if there's a certain touch, a certain smell, a certain color that reminds you of something. Take it all in. Because this world has so much to offer. There's so many beautiful things, so many beautiful cultures, so many places that you can possibly live or work or just, you know, experience things that you really should just... <clears throat> not limit yourself don't again like I just said don't let nobody knock your grind like you do what's best for you mm -hmm. all these artists out here that are busting their ass whether it's in TV music books advocacy programs whatever they're making a change and they're doing something they absolutely 100% love and it's not to say that they didn't go through the hurdles and the trials and tribulations of all of that you know what I'm saying? but they that's how they have a testimony that's how they're able to tell their story you know tell your story create a story to tell you know and just you know have fun flying like nothing more to say to that i hope you liked this episode because i love this episode because i think goals are great so you know what to do i'm not gonna tell you again i'm just gonna show you look that's three thumbs up can we get a fourth boom there you go hit that like button don't forget to oh, comment oh, a fifth. And, uh oh <laughs> got a fifth don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave it down in, the, in your uh, in the comments what kind of goals you have set for yourself for this year or, you know, the next year. Because um, this year's going to fly by. We're going to be in 2021 before you know it. So, again, don't forget to hit your notification um, bell so that you know when the next episode is uploaded. And thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you later. Bye!